Hey what's up YouTube, and welcome back to my Top Tweak of the Day series. And today we're actually taking a look at a top widget. And as many have requested, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to manually install it for yourselves. So unlike other tweaks and themes I've talked about, this widget still requires a manual installation. But once it's all said and done, your device should look something like this. Not only are we going to discuss how to install the widget, but I'm also going to share with you guys my custom iconoclasm layout, as well as the other tweaks that I have installed. Alright, so before we begin, you're first off going to need a few things. One, you will need a jailbroken device on iOS 11 with the Electra Jailbreak. Secondly, you will need to install Anemone to apply custom themes, and before you do this, you must install this updated version of Rocket Bootstrap from the repository in the description. Next up, to complement the widget nicely, like I said, I added a custom icon layout. Thus, to do this, you will need to first install Iconoclasm from Cydia as well. Lastly, we are going to need the Files of File Manager for Electra. The repo will be in the description, so you guys can install this through Cydia. And very lastly, we will need Zip App Free, which can be downloaded from the App Store. All right, so let's get into the installation process. So this first step is not required, but it'll make things easier later on for us. I'm just going to head into Filesa and set up some custom bookmarks of the folders we're going to be using later in this video. So when Filesa first opens up, I'm just going to navigate back to the root of the file system. From here, we're going to navigate to the library folder and then to the themes folder. And I'm going to create a bookmark for this by clicking the star button in the center, clicking the plus button in the top right, and then just giving it a name and clicking done. Now you can see in my bookmarks, we have the themes folder bookmarked right there. So now I'm just going to navigate back just into the library folder again and navigate to Iconoclasm. Here, once we're in Iconoclasm, we're going to select layouts and then I'm going to bookmark this again by clicking this center star icon, clicking the plus icon, and then just adding the layouts bookmark right there. So now we have layouts and themes. The very last thing we're going to do is click the star button, head into the apps manager at the bottom, and then just select sort by name twice and zip app free will be at the top. We can select that, select documents, and then select imported files. And then this is the page we're going to bookmark as well. So now we have themes, layouts, and imported files all bookmarked and Filesa is now all set up and ready to go to get us to install this stuff. So check the link in the description for the widget and custom iconoclasm layout. I just sent it to myself in a messages thread, but first off, we're going to install the widget by clicking on it. At the very top is the one we're looking for. Now in the Dropbox app, we are just going to export it out of that, go open with other apps, and then here, once it's done exporting, we're going to copy to zip app free. And this is going to copy it to the imported files location. Here, once we're in that, we're just going to unarchive it, and now it's going to unzip the folder. We can then go ahead and delete this guy. And all that's left is going to be the unzip folder of the widget. Same thing for the iconoclasm layout. We're just going to open it up in the Dropbox app, click export, and then we're going to open it up in zip app free. It's going to copy it to the imported files location. But like I said, we're still in the zip app free. That is all we need to do here. So now we're going to head into the files application. Now we're in the imported files location. We're just going to do a quick reload. Again, this is all bookmarked, so if you're for some reason not here, if you quit out of it, just hit the star icon and click on your imported files bookmark and it takes you right here. So now we're just going to create a couple more pages of the other folders that we bookmarked. For this one, I'm just going to open up themes. I'm going to do a second one as well and just open up the layouts folder. So now we're going to go back to imported files, copy the widget, just select it, and then in the bottom left, click copy and then navigate to the themes folder. And here we're just going to click paste in the bottom left. So that's all pasted in, head back into imported files one more time to copy the iconoclasm layout. And now we're just going to head into the layouts folder and paste that there. So now all of our files are all in place and ready to go. So from here, we're just going to set things up, heading to the settings app, navigate to iconoclasm, here, once in that, now we can select our custom layout that we just installed up at the top and then exit back out and enable Iconoclasm for the first time. Here, it's just going to do a quick respring. Anyway, once we're back up, you can see that the layout has been applied. The last thing we need to do is head into Anemone to apply the widget. As you guys can see, it will pop up right here just as a theme. We can toggle on or off. We can select it, click preview, and then click apply to enable it. Again, this is an HTML widget. 
but the way we're adding it to our home screen is through Anemone because Anemone does support HTML widgets. It's just applying it as a theme. It's actually not interactive at all, but it does update and change based on the time and date. Anyway guys, that is my quick tutorial on how to enable and set up this custom widget with this custom iconoclasm layout. Let me know down in the description if you guys got stuck anywhere along the way. I tried to make this as painless as possible, although it is pretty complicated to do on your phone, and it is rather time consuming just to install one single widget. But at the same time, it looks freaking awesome. So I just wanted to bring this video to you guys today to show you how to enable my setup. Of course, paired with this widget, I also have no page dots. I'm using the Lotus and the Lexium themes to achieve that on my icons and my dock. And then I also have Cylinder to create these page-to-page -page animations, and then NuGrat folders to create these awesome folders. And then lastly, on my home screen, I have Battery Percent X up in the top right displaying my battery percentage there. But that's just some simple theming that's going on on my device. If you guys are looking for some more stuff to install, for now check out my top 20 free tweaks video which shows you some pretty awesome things you can install entirely for free on Cydia. Anyway guys, that's pretty much in a nutshell how to set up this widget and how my personal device is set up. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, a lot of work and effort went into making it. Also, if you guys want to stay updated when I release new Top Tweak videos, and just to stay updated on the latest jailbreaking news, don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you head out. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this is Tony, signing out.